Hello, my name is Chef Eric Olson, and welcome to Mid American Eats, where we tell you about everything that's going on in the Midwest that's cool, new, and maybe old, and you just haven't discovered it. Today, we're going to be talking about Michigan. We're going to be talking about Michigan whitefish, and we're going to be talking about Tabor Hill, a demi sec that we got to go with it. Oh, so good. So there's things right out our back door that we don't even know about. What I got here is a, a nice filet that I've just squared up of whitefish. Whitefish is packed with omega-3 fatty oils. Very healthy for you. Very, very good for you. What I'm going to do is just simply take the center ground in it and take one slice down it so that I got two different fillets, okay? Then I got a little bit of salt here, okay? Just going to hit it with a little salt. Get a little black pepper. Then I got some tandoori spice. Now, this dish is all over a couple different continents. Well, number one, we're right here in the United States using Michigan product. We're going to be doing some summer vegetables with a fish stock sauce with this, which are right here from the Midwest. But first off, let's start broiling this, okay? So I got my broil pan. I'm just gonna hit this here. Get them right on the pan. Set this down for just a second. And I wanna hit them with just a little bit of fresh lemon. Okay, no seeds in my lemon here. That's good. Get these going right there in the oven. All right, so while those are baking away, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little cleanup here. We're gonna talk about this sauce that we're gonna put on it. A nice, fresh sauce, very light. Uh, it complements the fish very well. You don't want anything too overpowering when it comes to white fish. If you get overpowering, you just you lose the flavor of the white fish, obviously. So we're gonna start out with a red onion. Okay, just taking both ends off of it. Down through the center of it. Taking my ends, getting rid of them. What we want is a julienne out of this. So just a nice cut straight down. A nice amount of onion. What I'm going to do is hit this with a, a little bit of olive oil. Okay. If you hear some buzzing right now, it's the induction that we're using. Induction is actually using magnets to go ahead and heat up metal. So when I lift this, you're even going to hear a beep beep. It's going to tell me that I'm actually pulling it up off and it's been removed from the heat source. But I still want to make sure my oil gets spread around. So we got this nice red onion. We're just gonna start sauteing it. Do a little wipe here. All right, so. Illinois, right? We're in the Midwest. This is Mid-American Eats. What's more Mid-American than a tomato? What I've done is I've taken these and roasted them with a torch, but I'm going to cut them in half too so they sit in the place nice. Sure, those are sautéing away nice. Really excited about the wine that we're going to be serving with this. I actually got to spend some time with the man that founded 
Tabor Hill, and he has a brand new place in Michigan called Founders of Baroda, and uh, just a incredible man that uh, took his time out to show me and my wife around his brand new winery. Okay, those are cut. What I want to do next, I want to take my my already roasted red pepper and just cut some juliennes of this, okay? Just cutting them, put them right back in. Bring them out. Nice julienne. Ah, if you could smell those onions right now, it's just so wonderful. So what I want to do is, I want to layer these flavors, right? So a little salt in with that. Again, making sure that everything's working nicely together, starting to brown up nice. A little stir. Nothing's sticking, you notice. You want to know why? I went ahead and I heat up the pan first. What happens is the, all the pores in the metal spread open. And it takes on the oil. Pretty much makes for a non-stick pan, even though these are not non-stick pans. All right, I'm just going to take a little peek at my fish back here. Oh, it's coming along nicely. So there we go. Onions. What now I'm going to do is I'm going to add my peppers. A nice little applause there. Again, you hear that beep when I'm pulling it off of there. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes now, okay? All right, all right, all right. So again, we're layering flavors. I'm seasoning as we go, okay? Plenty of seasoning there. Of course, that cracked black pepper in there that I like so much. Here's where the little secret comes in. A little tandoori right on top of that, okay? I'm gonna let this saute for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and open my bottle of wine. Tavern Hill is responsible for pretty much the wine trend that's going on in Michigan today and where it all started in the 70s. They have a varietal that uh, ex is expansive, it's huge, it's a lot of different varieties. And the reason why they can produce such great wines and wonderful wines is their climate, because of the lake, is much like Germany, much like France. So nor naturally, their Gewürztraminers and their other varietals that are indigenous usually to that area are going to be great, not just good, they're going to be great. I use when I cook. Number one, I don't ever cook with anything I can't drink. So what I want to do is a nice little deglaze of the pan here with this wine while it's still cold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little tomato fish stock. If you don't want to make your own tomato fish stock, let me tell you a little cheater. You got a favorite Bloody Mary mix that you got that uses clams? It's a great substitute for it. I'm just going to pour that in the pan and let it reduce. In the meantime, we'll 
Bring our glass up and get ready to pour our wine just a moment here. Just reduce just a little bit more. It's looking good. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get a little bit of butter ready. Just a mon bure. Just to com be combined with the, the sauce itself to make it a little bit richer. Oh, and that fish is fini. Finished. See, definitely finished. You want to, again, use that touch. I'm going to put on some trivets right over here. And then we'll get ready to do a little bit of plating, okay? So we got a nice reduction going on. Everything's playing nice together. Everything's really merging into this wonderful, beautiful sauce. It's going to be so nice across the top of this fish. The very last here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my temperature. Again, you're going to hear those beeps. I'm cooking with induction. And I'm going to add my butter in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this butter in. I don't want to stop stirring. If I do, it's actually going to break the sauce. And we don't want that. We want that nice, rich, rich sauce that's in the bottom of this. It's going to be nice and, and full flavored. Gonna have a great body to it. There it is. So my sauce is ready. Set my spoon down. It's time to take the fish to the plate. taken and leaning these two together, okay, as you can see on the plates. Then we're going to take some of our sauce, putting the vegetables right up on top, making sure it's surrounded with some of these vegetables. I'll tell you what, there's really nothing better then garden fresh vegetables in Illinois, in the middle of summer. It's just a, a beautiful thing coming out of the Midwest, all over the Midwest. All right. And then I'm going to finish up with a little bit of cilantro. Or if we wanted to go back to the tandoori end of it, it should be known as coriander. Nice little bunch on top, across it, all around the dish. Lots of beautiful colors there. And there we have it. broiled white fish with summer tomatoes and tomato shellfish stock and a little Tabor Hill demi sec to go with it. I'll tell you what, these two are a match made in heaven. Until next time, my name is Chef Eric Olson and this has been Mid American Eats.